This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemort we're back here with another episode of uh, Wolfenstein 3D, or 3D. <laughs> that, no, that's another version of the game. Wolfenstein, the new order. Man, why do I, why do I always have trouble, like, introducing the game? It's a, I, I don't know why, it just, <laughs> it's just, uh, it just, like, not popping out correctly or something like that. I don't know. I guess this is what happens when you have multiple recording projects working and uh, you, like, tend to kind of put them all together sometimes anyway in the last episode we've been uh, we've had to we need to take out some of the defenses of uh death heads uh um base so our friends can get in and uh help us out uh ooh, i would join the army if someone was like that like that was there nah, i'm just kidding i wouldn't join the army at all i'm not stupid well okay that's not true i would join an army if if my native soil was actively attacked and i believed in my uh, government to do the best it could to help me with my efforts to fend invaders off my land and all all the standard stuff, you know, so, uh, so I shouldn't have said that I would never join, just it's, you know, it's just I, I don't trust my own government to uh, take care of me for my service. I mean, in my country, you know, veterans get hardly any... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be talking about, like, uh, a political affairs on, on a show like this. This is an action shooter, folks. We're here to kill Nazis and have fun. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's uh, do some exploration as we, uh, before we keep going up, just to make sure we've got uh, enough ammo and health. Which we're going pretty slow because I don't want to drop this thing. Cause I'm, I'm whoa! It's like we're getting attacked. Eh. Down all that way. Come on. Let's see what's over here. Da, da, da. Whoa! Okay, that was surprising. Where am I? Oh, okay. I know where I am now. Wow, that was, uh... That was messed up. Okay, I'm gonna drop this thing. Oh, no. Can I just drop it? Yeah, alright. Opens from another side that maybe we get there from another way, but yeah, I just just dropped and fell down. Good going. Luckily, it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I thought it'd do like a lot more damage to me when I fell down, but I guess I got lucky. The only reason I wanted to drop that thing is because I wanted to like get through the area a bit quicker so I can at least do some exploring before I head off. This is probably where I would have entered if I dropped the bomb before. Or at least somewhere in the vicinity. Yeah, it looks like that opens up to the outside. Ooh, more armor. Hello. Oh, nice. Uh, some side quests, or not side quests, some collectibles. Enigma code piece one of one. Collect, uh, collect a uh, piece to uh, complete within the extras. Oh, okay. So that's so there are some extra stuff for the uh, the game. Not required, but if you want to get some extra stuff, I. I'll try to find stuff whenever I can, but I'm probably most likely gonna miss stuff like that. That just seems to happen to me. I, I tend to lose track of that, or tr tend to lose tend to lose that stuff pretty easily. So anyway, let's uh, run back up. Sorry about falling down there. Hopefully, it shouldn't take me too long to get back up to the top. Man, already uh, only a few minutes in, and we we're already having to redo a whole section of the game because it wasn't. I wasn't uh, paying attention and I fell down. I don't even know how I did that, really. Got him. Won't do it. Okay, so how did I fall? I shouldn't have fallen. That's not a what? But that's clearly a step. So what? What the? The fuck, game? Programmers, what's wrong with you? I was like, how did I fall? I was like, oh, maybe there's like a small hole there or something like that. Nope. It's just that wooden board. You cannot like walk through. Wow, what the hell? That's annoying. 
I was hoping to just grab this stuff. Is this something you have to get later? Well, I'm not... Okay. I'm not going to move too far forward. I just want to grab some stuff. Because if I go any further, I'm going to fall again. Wow, that's... That's that's bullcrap. Anyway. Alright, let's set our grenade up there. Whoop! Did it, did it blow? I think it did. I'll have to actually check out and see what those perks actually do. There we go. Probably means I, I yeah, it probably I was about to say it probably means I um I reload a lot faster. So yeah, that's kinda neat that basically reusing certain uh, abilities or or whatever basically will give you the perks, which is pretty nice. It's a nice little little detail. They're like, hey, if you keep doing this one thing you really like doing, you'll get much better at it. Okay, so am I supposed to just use it? I guess so. Oh, sweet. I have to aim and shoot. Wait, is that it? Should I, should I keep firing? Oh, I can. Okay. Come on over here, buddy. Uh-oh. That's it. Oh, we did it, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Oh, s well, I'm sorry. Yeah, too bad we didn't have a plucky young Jedi to uh, with a ship to just wrap its legs up to take it out, but... Well, sorry for ruining the cinematic of it. I thought it was going to, like, shoot at me or something like that and kill me. So I was, I was like, oh, I better not be on this thing when it blows. It's about ready to blow! Oh, more ammo. Oh, hello. Oh, more collectible stuff. I want peace, says Fuhrer. Berlin, July 10th, 1946. The future of humanity is at, at stake, and a rare interview... Ex exclusively for this new paper discussing the war effort and the volumes or values that make the German race so unique and superior. Our beloved Fuhrer delivers his vision of the world after the world. Make no mistake about it. I want peace for mankind and I am willing to fight for the death for it. You know, if I'm doing, like, if I'm gonna, like, do a, a, a Hitler voice, I should do, like, something that's just, like, ridiculously silly and something that you can make fun of, you know, because... You know, the real history of him. But anyway. Ooh, what's this? Is there a reason for this? Oh. Okay, I was just guessing at that, so I don't know if that was an actual solution or or just pressing them all would have lowered it anyway, but okay. Cool. The name and code piece one two. Alright. Very nice. Anything else around here? More ammo? Not that I really need it too much. Alright, cool. Let's keep going. Gotta destroy, uh, gotta keep, uh, getting into Death's Head, Death's Head's, uh, oh, 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 oh. Did you notice me? Yeah, that's bad, man. That's fine. Really, the sneaking sessions are only supposed to be there for the point of, uh, destroying, the, or taking out the, um, um, uh, the officers that can summon more dudes. If you're not in that type of area, then there's no reason to just sneak around. Whoa! Man, there's so much recoil on these guns. That mean, it makes sense. There we go. I know there's not as much recoil if we if we uh, if I just shoot one of the guns, but if I shoot both of them, there's a good chance it's gonna go. Uh -oh. That didn't help too much at all. Uh -oh. ah. There we go. Man, losing too much health. Uh, too I I spent all this work getting all this armor, and I lost most of it already. Well, that's the nature of this game. It's just gonna happen. Oh well. 
Alright, uh, let's see. Let's see if I missed anything. Look at you. Because I checked in there earlier. Okay. Although I probably did miss a bunch of stuff, but, you know, whatever. It's gonna happen. I just need more ammo for these guns. The only bad thing about these guns is they only carry like 30 shots apiece, so you're gonna be like reloading them quite regularly. Ooh, what I always wanted. Sink bullets. They are the best. Hmm. Oscar's letter to, uh, to Heinrich Schwartz. Dear, oh, it's not in English, though. Oh, here we go. I was about to say, if it's German, we're not reading this. Dear Heinrich, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm sitting outside on the uh, porch of the hospital when I'm recovering from my wounds. A good-looking nurse rolled me out here so I could write to you. A volunteer from Munich. She tells me her, uh, she tells me here in Dar es Salaam, afternoon is drawing near. A chilled breeze comes in from the sea, and with the breeze comes the smell of fish and rotting seaweed, and the almost unbearable stench from the burning bodies from by the shoreline. The view of the land from this location is absolutely gorgeous. I have found Africa to be, in many ways, a wondrous place. It is an era of freedom, a, s a sense of adventure, if you will. I wish you could experience with me, Heinrich. I have also seen things. I wish I could have unseen. Remember how I told you once that I would never regret my decision to quit my education and join the army? To be honest, in the grimmest of moments, I have cursed my decision. I still ponder this, but if I had left the university, would I not still have le felt as lost and aimless as I did? Speaking of which, how is Elsa? Have you spoken to her at all? Have you seen her? On the campus, perhaps? On the street? Or by the river, where we, we used to fish? Maybe I should not ask this, but I do think of her when... When darkness falls over the des de desert, it's comforting. The violence can be tough to handle. Some of the men are losing it. They say we shouldn't even be here, and I understand what they say this, especially the less experienced ones. They're afraid, you see, afraid of the guerrilla soldiers, the primitives. This must be during the uh, during the African uh, um, campaign. A month ago, we were out in the desert. I was piloting my wolf tank. We were four men in the tank. Me. Hussef, Gun uh, Hussef, Gunther, and Killerman. Have you seen those tanks? They come straight out of German uh, General Strauss's workshop. They're fooled by nuclear reactors and armed with state-of-the-art weaponry. A troop of wolf tanks can decimate an entire village in the blink of an eye. However, the one thing these machines of war can't handle is, abund uh, is abundant in the desert. Sand. Wait, are you telling me that those tanks are frickin' nuclear? Anyway, we didn't see it coming. Somewhere close to the tangent uh, tank Tengajikan border. A dust storm blew up out of nowhere. Within minutes, everything was covered in sand. It got into the engines through the cracks in the hull and caused the tanks to malfunction. Suddenly, it found us so stranded. We had no choice but to set up camp. There were twenty of us in our squad. We took turns guarding the perimeter. I was I, I was awoken by a blood curdling scream in the middle of the night. I ran outside. The camp was in a state of absolute chaos. My men were running like headless chickens with while dark men, primitives, dressed in the stripes of leather, faces painted red, the whites of the eyes glowing in the darkness, leaped across the camp and gutted and slashed our men. I saw Gunther eviscerated where he stood. He tried to hold his guts in, but they slipped through his fingers. One of the primitives came out to me from nowhere and stabbed me in the stomach. I managed to grab my gun and shot him dead. I pulled out the knife and crawled away from the scene, and then ran across the desert. The terrible screams haunted me from through the night. I was told that they kept some of them alive to torture them while the dead were hung upside down, disemboweled, and their sexual organs cut off and shoved down their throats. Ye gods. Well, they were a, a, an aggressive force. I guess they deserved it. Yes. Anyway, so you understand that a lot of the men there, they are beginning to lose their morale, and to agree, that is understandable. I, however, will not surrender to these feelings of weakness, no matter how tempting they may be. I will stand by my beliefs and ideas of our leader. We are the stronger race, and there can be no room for anyone but us. I hope you will feel the same way as I do. Your friend, Oscar Vismail Mueller, 72nd Wolf Tank Division. P.S. If you see Elsa, tell her that I still love her. D.S. Well, luckily we only get one letters of that Terry every chapter. That was kind of long. I was kind of, I was almost expecting a, a voiceover to pop up when I saw how long it was. But uh, anyway, uh, which direction was I? Oh, okay. I was sitting there reading that letter for so for a bit that I uh, forgot which way I was supposed to be going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh ah. -oh. Uh -oh. 
Uh oh. Yeah, not a. Uh, not going straight through that thing. That's for sure. Okay. Is there a way to sneak around that? Ah, oh, come on! Ah, oh, well, I, I, kill, I shot him anyway. Well, it's like they're climbing up the rope because we uh, destroyed the... Uh, um, destroyed that walker thing. Ooh. Yeah, we kind of actually need some bullets. All right, now we can go up. Come on, get up there, get up. All right, but yeah, it looks like I'm out of armor, so I'll just have to be a bit more careful. Man, I keep thinking in games like these, I'm always like, I hardly use the grenades. I should use them more often. That's why I've been using them. And then the one time I use it, it I don't get the intended purpose of it. So that's kind of annoying. All right, let me grab this thing. Actually, I should be able to, right? Come here, you. Come here, my pretty. Oh, no, come on. Yes. I right, go a little slower, but it's a whole other set of armor and ammo, or ammo and a new weapon I can use. All for the glory of, uh, of America. Oh, okay. I did, uh, wait. Would I... Oh, I bet... I wonder if, uh, if, um... This is one of those things where, uh, if you missed killing that the walker before, this would be in your second chance to get it, maybe? No, that's not what I... Hold on. The hell? That was weird. Okay, so I am supposed to be here. Never mind. Come on. Come on. I'm supposed to destroy that, right? Okay, maybe not. Whoa! That guy just blew up like a turkey. Or a cold turkey on, on Thanksgiving. Okay. Well, I thought I was supposed to destroy that thing, but it didn't work, so maybe, uh... Maybe there's something I need to do there. Set up a bomb or something, or... I don't know. Let's find out. I actually didn't keep going, so I don't know. Huh. Nope, it's not going to let me drop it, so hold on. Okay, let's try it again. Is this game more glitchy than I realized? I mean, it, it's probably pretty solid, except for that, that, that hole in the floor. Because it says I should be blowing it up, but it's not working, so... Maybe I need to... Uh, Okay, there we go. I, maybe I just needed to hit it a bunch of times. Maybe I'm too impatient. Maybe that's the issue. Well, I'm sorry. Alright, time to keep going. With the, oh, whoa, I didn't even notice you guys there. Whoa. But anyway, when I was talking about the turkey thing, I, I meant when you throw a turkey, a cold a turkey into a, like a hot, like the one that's just out of the freezer from a, into a hot vat of oil. And then boom, an explosion. Don't believe me? Try it out. I mean, don't try it out. Don't try it out. That would be that would be bad. I don't know we would get sued. Although I'm a faceless person on the internet, so it'd be hard it'd be hard pressed to do that. But, oh that damn I thought that was like a book for a second. It's like, oh that's cool. Whoa! Dang it! Get off me! Ah. Oh, that's the guy we we slapped in the face because he was a, uh, because he was a uh, kind of not cowardly. He was just in in shock. I I wanted to like check this out before I went to went to grab his hand because who knows what was in here? Probably just ammo and stuff. Uh, oh, an enigma code. Excellent. 
One of three. How many are in this level anyway? Four more. Hmm. I guess this level's longer than I thought. Well, then again, we're. Uh, I assume the whole game is us going after a uh, freaking death's head. So, you know, obviously it's not going to be an hour into the game we're done. Although, depending on the game. Although I've heard this game is decently long, like in the kind of the six hour range. Pay attention, beer boys. This is all turned from a goose hunt to a stick up job. And behind us now is a set of pillar of the German army. What are you doing, a puppet master? Proud gate, sirs. Important for duty. Oh, crazy and dedicated. Welcome to the war. Take over, Private. Now, General Death's Head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. Some nasty wounds you've got there, Private. Be sure to mind that bleed. We eliminate the General, we cut the head off the crowd war machine. If we don't, they're gonna have us for breakfast. Uh, you all right there, kid? Sir, my eyes are watering, and I think I'm gonna be sick. Is this normal? It's just nerves. I'll teach you a trick. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Count to four. All there is to it. We're having our ass tied by some Nazi mutant fucking Frankenstein. So we're ready then, lads. This time, we get the job done. Now let's go. Let's move it up. Go. Are you lazy or we roasted? A war, not a fucking Sunday church walk. Come on. A good team. Like father and son. Alright. Captain Blaskowitz. Gates, Benson. Your job is simple. Climb up this wall. Get inside. Look in the control room for this big fucking door and open it for us. You see any Nazi firearms? You take them. Bound to be better than ours. The rest of us will come here from down here. Now, once the door's open, we get inside, we work our way up through the building, we meet up again on the top floors, we find Death's head, and we shoot him in the head. All right. No pressure, lads. But keep in mind, this may be our last chance. If we don't get Death's head now, it is all over. Now climb. Focus out. All right, looks well, like Blaskowitz is in the climb of his life as we need to get to the top of this thing to take out Death's Head. But will taking out Death's Head just be as easy as a shot to the head, or will he be ha have a trap waiting for us? Find out next time in the next episode of Wolfenstein, the, the New Order. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm going to in the next episode. See you later.